Good Monday morning with Breezy News. I'm Chris Davis outside right now. 75 degrees. Your forecast is on the way and online now at breezynews.com. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a heat advisory for Atala, Lee, Kenosha counties until 7 p.m. Tuesday. A heat advisory means that hot temperatures are likely to continue. The combination of hot temperatures and high humidity will create a situation in which heat illnesses are possible. Central Mississippi can expect a heat index between 105 and 107 degrees through Monday evening. We'll have a complete forecast in just a few moments. The city of Kosciuszko has changed working hours for public works departments. Mayor Jimmy Cockroft tells Breezy News the move is due to the heat. Temperatures are expected at near 99 today with a 105 heat index. The change was effective as of Friday. In a message to the media, Cockroft says public works departments of the city of Kosciuszko will work from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. due to the heat. This will be a Monday through Friday schedule. We will attempt to notify the public when the schedule changes again. As you remember, we experimented with a four-day work week last year, but that was due to fuel costs. This schedule helps the men with the extreme heat that we have and will most likely continue. If you have any questions, please call City Hall at 289-1226. A crash turned into a vehicle fire Saturday morning at 914 on Highway 19 South. According to Itala County Fire and Rescue, an unnamed female driver lost control and crashed her Nissan Maxima. Upon arrival, firefighters found that the vehicle was fully involved in flames. No injuries were reported and the scene was cleared at 946 a.m. Kosciuszko firefighters say an early Thursday blaze was caused by an exploding fry daddy. The Kosciuszko Fire Department was called at 310 East Jefferson Street at 1.38 a.m. Upon arrival, they could see heavy smoke coming from the kitchen. They determined the fire did moderate damage to the home. There was smoke damage as well. Firefighters had to take out ceiling tiles to make sure the fire didn't go into the walls. They say a fry daddy was left on with cooking oil inside. Eventually, the oil got hot. So hot, the cooker exploded, sending oil and fire everywhere. Residents are reminded never to leave any type of cooking unattended and to check appliances before going to bed. Hundreds were out in the heat Friday at 10 a.m. for the opening ceremony for the new Redwater Elementary School located on Choctaw Indian Land near Carthage. The school will serve kids in the Redwater community, and according to Miko Beasley Denson, the school represents an era of progress for the Choctaw Band. You have a nice facility here, the Redwater people. The facilities don't educate our children. It's the parents, it's the kids themselves, but also the teachers and administrators of the school system. Denson addressed the crowd, saying the tribe provided $8 million for the $14 million facility. Among those in attendance were current and newly elected tribal council members, Senator Giles Ward, and Carthage and Lee County dignitaries. School children who will use the facility also celebrated. Tribal council member Phyllis Anderson of Redwater said the school has been a long time coming. It is a center of excellence for our children, offering the highest quality of education and supporting young people in the most advanced environment possible. Thank you for your patience for this new building. It has been a long-awaited occasion something that we have looked forward to for many years. The ceremony was followed with food inside the new facility. A hospital tax agreement should help legislators reach a deal quickly on Mississippi's nearly $5 billion budget for the fiscal year that begins in less than two weeks. House Speaker Billy McCoy said Sunday. McCoy said an agreement in principle reached over the weekend was a huge step in negotiations between the House and the Senate. The two chambers are trying to craft a spending plan for state agencies and programs for fiscal year 2010. The agreement calls for a $60 million hospital tax that could increase to $90 million once the state stops receiving federal stimulus money in 2010. In return, the hospitals could save nearly $100 million by reversing previous budget cuts and prohibiting future ones, according to Senator Hob Bryan from Amory, one of the negotiators. The third-round preliminaries of the 28th annual Colgate Country Showdown were held Saturday at the Beach Club in Choctaw. Eleven singers performed before a standing-room-only crowd, with three being chosen to perform in the finals. Congratulations go to Micah Mayfield of Brandon, Rico and the Border Patrol from Philadelphia, and Jordan Mallory of Holka. The showdown finals will be Saturday, June 27th at 7 p.m. at the Beach Club in Choctaw. Nashville recording artist Craig Campbell will headline the show and serve as a celebrity judge. One singer will then be chosen to sing at the Mississippi State Showdown Final on August 22nd at the Central Mississippi Fair in Kosciuszko. 
Taking a look at your forecast for Kosciuszko today, sunny and hot with a high expected at 98. The heat index could reach 105. Take heat precautions. Check on elderly neighbors. Make sure pets are okay and have plenty of water. The heat advisory will continue at least through Tuesday. Tonight, mostly clear with a low at 71. Tuesday, sunny and very hot. The high expected to reach 97 with a heat index expected as high as 104. The rest of the week, we expect temperatures to cool slightly with sunny conditions and highs in the mid-90s. Find the latest news and weather from Kosciuszko and Itala County online 24-7 at breezynews.com. With Breezy News, I'm Chris Davis.